Hi folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel and another Final Fantasy 7 new threat video. I've got to tell you, I am so much enjoying this mod, at least up until this point. I hope you guys are as well. Now, even though the mod is generally described as a rebalancing mod, it also does so much more and it does manage to keep surprising me. For example, live on stream, we were making our way through the section of the game where you choose either the stairs or the elevator in the Shinra building on this one. We chose the elevator, the lift. And when we got to the top, we bumped into this guy. <laughs> yes, this is the Guard Scorpion, or the XATM Scorpion as he's known in New Threat. Once again, repaired by Shinra. And he certainly wasn't present in this position in the original. But for whatever reason, Shinra really do love to bring this guy back here in New Threat. And I was very happy to see him. I've got to tell you, you know, additional boss encounters are some of my favourite parts of this mod. And this one did not disappoint. It's not the most challenging boss encounter in the world. But what it is, is a good evolution of the original encounter. Back from the Mako reactor. This guy's been buffed. This guy has new abilities. He's even got ads in the fight. So it feels like a progression. And I just really, really love that. You can just tell so much thought's gone into this mod in so many cases. But I'm going to explain to you how I beat this guy. Like I say, not the most challenging. But there are a few things you're going to want to know. And first of all, as I mentioned, and as you can see, the boss does come with its own ads on this occasion. So these are the Mighty Grunt enemies. They are level 16 and have 420 HP each, meaning they do serve as quite the barrier to breaking through to the boss itself. So I would finish these off as quickly as possible. Uh, they are weak to Ice and Bolt magic, which is very helpful. But also, just a couple of limit breaks should see them off fairly quickly. Uh, if you really want to mess about, you can try and steal Phoenix Downs off them. But I wouldn't bother because of the Scorpion in the back. I would just try and kill them as quickly as possible. Now, talking about the Scorpion itself, something very, very important is that you can actually morph an item off this guy. Now, I didn't actually do this because, as I say... This guy caught me by surprise. I was not expecting this boss fight. I was so ecstatic to see another round against the Scorpion that I just didn't investigate uh, properly what items we could get from it. And so I ended up not morphing it. I checked afterwards. It turns out you can. And you can get a W machine gun, which I assume is a weapon for Barrett as it was in the original. Uh, but even if you do miss that, and I wouldn't encourage that you do, uh, you do also get a drop from this boss, which I do in fact get which is the Cannonball, a melee weapon for Barrett as well. Very powerful, very nice. So a general morphing strategy I would have used, I'm sure it will work for you guys, is obviously to use Sense, so then you can just keep an eye on its HP throughout the battle. Hit it with your hardest abilities until it starts to get a little bit weak, and then, you know, when it's got 150, 200 HP left, just calm down, start hitting it with some softer abilities before morphing for the W Machine Gun. Now, in terms of stats and abilities, so this boss here is, as I say, a buffed version of the previous iteration of it. It now has 3,280 HP and is still weak to bolt magic, as you would expect. And yeah, you know, as I say, it drops the cannonball item and the W machine gun as a morph. Not really much else to say about that. In terms of its abilities, though, they have also been upgraded. So its main tail attack is now called Morningstar, I think it is. And it basically wallops you for a whole load of damage. I think I was getting hit for well over 260 points of damage. Now, it is single target, so you shouldn't be too stressed trying to heal back out of that. But I would try and heal pretty much soon after. Otherwise, he's just going to destroy your party as he does it quite regularly. Now, he will still do the tail laser when its tail's in the air if you attack it whilst it is in that position. So just be aware of that, okay? Uh, because it still hurts. It now does close to 200 points of damage per party member. And you cannot on this occasion target the tail in order to destroy it. So it's up to you whether you wait for it to come down. Or whether you do damage bef uh, you know, while it's up. But just bear in mind there is no time limit for this fight. So you're probably better off just waiting rather than actually receiving the counter. Now then, warning, warning. This guy has a new attack. And it is absolutely deadly. It is called X-Shock. And as far as I can tell, he always casts X-Shock just before he's about to lower his tail. X-Shock does about 300 points of damage to every party member. So definitely have healing at the ready for that. And just be prepared to try not to die. It hurts. Okay. But overall, I think this boss just serves as a fantastic representation of this mod. Not only is it a new boss in the first place because we didn't fight this guy here in the original game. But it has a new model, as you can see, or at least an edited model graphically. 
Uh, it's got new abilities, buffed abilities. It's just such a fantastic uh, inclusion here. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what else the mod has in store for us as we continue to push our way through the game. But there we have it anyway. That was round three against the XATM Scorpion. I really hope this fella pops up again. I'll be very excited if he does. Uh, the fact he's like a recurring boss fight, it seems, at least up until this point. Uh, yeah, I'm really kind of annoyed with myself for missing out on that morph item. But hopefully, you know, by my mistake, you folks will be able to learn a lesson and will get your hands on it. Let me know in the comment section if that W machine gun is a good weapon and if it's worth maybe going back to an earlier save in order to do this fight again for it. But yeah, I hope the video has helped you guys. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget, I do live stream Final Fantasy VII New Threats over at Twitch a couple of times a week. So if you guys want to watch me playing this live and, you know, I'm not saying I play perfectly. We do have a bit of banter. It is a lot of fun. Then please do come and check me out over there at twitch.tv forward slash fuzzfinger. But have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.